we are from Washington College of Engineering, currently studying in second year civil engineering. Today, our team will discuss on lock contouring with the help of total station. Hello, today we are going to see how to create a contour map using total station. So this is the focus which is having the list count of 5 seconds. We are using this and we are going to see how to create a contour map. So first of all, Anuja, do you know what is a contour line? Yes, Aditi. Uh, contour line is a line of intersection of level surface with the ground surface. Simple example is a line of intersection of a surface of a lake with the surrounding ground. So Aditi, why we need the contour map? Uh, contour map is required in various civil engineering projects like in the construction of dams, in the construction of roads, canals, etc. Even it is very helpful in the selection of sites for the new projects. So in overall, uh, contour map it plays a very important role in civil engineering works. So, will you explain what we are going to do in this overall our project? Aditi, so basically we are doing here the block contouring. In the block contouring, given area is divided into number of grid points. And each on each grid point, we are take, going to take the staff reading to find the RL values. And by the uh, by the RL values, we plot the contour with the help by the method of interpolation or by using the software. So you can see the grid there. So here we can see the grid of 4 by 3 dimensions and on each point of this grid we are going to take the readings so that we can further plot the contours with the help of uh, data processing. So, Basically, these grids are required when we are doing the uh, interpolation by graphical method. With the help of total station, even we can do this stuff without uh, plotting the grid also. So now we will start with the actual procedure. Centering and leveling are essential before doing any survey work. In centering, we ensure that the instrument is exactly above the station. And in leveling, we make line of uh, collimation exactly perpendicular to line of gravity. If we do not perform leveling, then it causes cumulative errors in the hmm. Centering and leveling are simultaneously done. For centering, we use legs of tripod, while for leveling, we use foot screws. Centering is ensured by optical plummet and plumb bob, while leveling is ensured by with the help of bubble tube and pond lid. Start with the For leveling, we, first we have to make bubble tube parallel to two foot screws and then perpendicular to one foot screw. Then we can ensure that the instrument is leveled with the help of pond level and bubble tube. So friends, after the leveling and the centering of the machine, we will proceed further. So first, we have to start the machine now. So this red button here is the power button of the machine. By pressing it, we will start now. This will take some time. So here we go. Okay, now we will create a new job in this machine. For that, we will press this menu button. In this, we will select the job. Now we have to create a new job, so we will select this new and we will give, give a name, let us say block. Okay, we have given the name block, so we will press this enter key. Okay. And now job is created. Okay, now we will set up the station. For that, we will press key 7. We now uh, we will enter the uh, known entities to the machine. Press enter. We will say station 1. Now, we have to enter the northing, easting, and the RL of the station. We will say northing is 100, easting will be 100, 
and the RL of the session is assumed to be 100. And we will give the station code as station 1, ST1. Now we will assume the height of instrument as 1.5 meter which is already given and the code is also given station 1. So now, now we have to do the back setting of the instrument. For this we will choose the angular method. Press enter key. Now we will give this uh, number 3 to this point and assume it will be 0. Height of instrument is supposed to be 1.5 meter. Now we have to do the back setting of the instrument. For this we will choose the angular method. We will select the angular method. We will give this point 3 number. The azimuth will be 0, 0 degrees. Now the height of prism will be assumed to be 1.7. Now we will focus the instrument on the prism and perform the back setting. We will measure the angle by pressing this MSR1. Okay, we have got the readings. After creating a job and uh, setting up a station, we can actually start the uh, contouring process. Uh, in this uh, focus instrument, we can store up to 10,000 raw points. Huh. Now we'll see the different components of focus to total station. This is a tele uh, this is a telescope. This is focusing screw. This is eyepiece. This is a vertical clamping screw. This is an tangential. This is horizontal clamping screw and tangential. This is a digital wire. After creating a job and a station setup, we have to we can actually start the survey. Now we have to focus to the prism. Now we have to press the MSR1 key to note the reading. In the same way, we can take all the readings of the grid points in the block contouring. Now we will discuss about the application part of block contouring. Uh, the application of, there are many more applications of block contouring, but we will discuss some of them. The first application is by the moving contour plan. We can easily find out the earthwork, uh, reservoir capacity and many more points. Second application is that by knowing the contour, we can easily find out the uh, profile, ground profile of the any road and or any structure. By knowing the contour map, by knowing the contours, we can uh, easily decide it that which site is suitable for our uh, construction or which site is suitable not. Now it is the fourth application of contouring. We can easily find out the intervisibility between two points by knowing the areas or the contour of the uh, fifth application part of the contouring is that we can easily find out the uh, reservoir capacity of tank. And the sixth application part is that we can uh, easily find out by knowing the areal or contours of the plan, the which side uh, is steep or which side uh, is gentle. In Push. After spending so much time on field and doing that tiresome work, we have to plot that points on sheet. Gone are those days, Pranay. Not on sheet. We will do that exercise on computer with much fun. How? See, we have collected that particular data in Total Station. Total Station is not a primitive inter instrument like dumpy level. It gives us coordinate data in digital format. So, we will retrieve that data by SD card or RS232 format. Generally, by SD card, we get that data in text file and by RS232, we get that in CSV format. 
Oh, I got it. With the help of that word format, we can import that points in Excel. And uh, fr uh, from Excel, we can import in it in AutoCAD by extension like SWDTM. So, so let's, let's start, start with, with computer. computer. Now, now with the help of computer, we can easily plot that contours on AutoCAD. So, first of all, open Excel. Now, by opening Excel, we can open our roller station file, which is in text format. So, we have saved it in roller station import folder on desktop. Now, this is not visible because that is in text file format. So, open that. Since uh, delimiters for that file are tabs, so specify that and process it and open. Now that particular file is open. Select it and make sure that AutoCAD is open and open SWDTM. Now uh, go to point and import point from Excel. Uh, keep point level at 0.1 because our grid is of 1 by 1 meter so that particular point level scale is ok open AutoCAD and click on zoom extends here our grid is now set the boundary to our grid because we are interested to plot contours of that part only now here boundary is ready now process that points. Now, in order to uh, plot that particular contours, we have to triangulate it. So triangulate that points. Now go to contour and draw round contours. Uh, set the contour interval as 0 0.1. Okay, then draw. So our contours are ready. Now we have to annotate that contours. So in order to annotate it. Go to control in annotation, uh, set the text height as 0.1. Now, uh, for we, we will select all line and select multiple all, then we'll add it. So, here our controls are annotated, and we are done with control job. Thank you. Hey guys. hey guys! Thank you for watching the video. Hope you like the video. Please like, share, and comment it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.